Okay, hello, good morning. Welcome to the next vlog, making vlog. Making sure I'll show my address on the box. Uh, yeah, so welcome to uh, my next vlog where I show you everything I'm currently working on and what I get up to creatively over the next few days. You might be able to hear the wind because it's really windy right now. It's I'm shaking the house a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it is coffee time. And instead of my normal Tim Tam, I'm going to be having some of this Kit Kat chocolate. Let me know if you like this. I imagine it's only in New Zealand and maybe Australia with the Milo. It's really good. Let me know if you've seen that anywhere else. But yeah, I'm sure Kit Kats are everywhere. But let me know if you have the Milo one and if you have it, if you like it, because I think it's really good. This morning I've been doing a little bit of sewing. So I sold one of these bags. I still need to cut some loose threads off it. But I sold one of these bags and notion pouches, so I just made another one. I really love this fabric. It's one of the original fabrics I used, and I just keep on buying more of it because it sells really well, and I really like it. And yeah, I made one of the little notion pouches as well, so I'm going to put those on my felt store. And then I also had a package arrive today, which I'm super excited about, and the sellotape is sticking to me. Uh, so. Since I've been learning to knit and getting a bit more serious about it, I have been looking a lot at Coco Knits, uh, which are kind of a knitting accessory company. I don't know where they're based. I want to say somewhere in Europe. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll put it on the screen. I have the Coco Knits Makers board, which I'll show you. So I'll just take the pattern off because I don't think I should show that. But it's kind of where I keep my current sweater pattern so this is it so it's made out of it's a washable paper <laughs> uh, and all of their things are plant-based all the rollers and everything uh, and then it has a piece of metal inside which makes it magnetic so you can have your pattern in here and you can have it standing up i'm so bad at showing things like this but you can have it standing up and then if you want to take it you can fold it up and the magnets keep it all in there so yeah, I have the Maker's Board and it's just beautiful stuff. It's not cheap uh, by any means. So I do have to really think about the purchase before I buy it and save up in most cases. But things like this, I think you have forever. So I don't really mind spending a bit more on them. And I am still a minimalist at heart. So I don't plan on having a huge amount of knitting accessories. So I'm being very careful about the things that I do bring in and making sure I like them and that I'll use them for a long time. And I think Coco Knits just fits my aesthetic. <laughs> so yeah, I have the Makers board and next on my wish list has been the row counter, which is actually magnetic. I'm pretty sure it can sit on here and also the accessory roll, which I'm hoping will fit my needles in it, my uh, interchangeable needles. I couldn't find anywhere online that told me whether they would. They had the outer dimensions, but not the inner ones. But anyway, I'll quickly show you them before my coffee gets cold. So I bought these from a store called Miss Maud. Uh, I'll put the website on the screen as well. If you're in New Zealand, Miss Maud is in Featherston, I think. Featherston or Greytown? They're in Greytown, which is uh, not too far away from me, maybe an hour away from me, uh, further up north from Wellington and I really like them. The two stores that I get most of my knitting products from are Knit and Stitch in Auckland and Miss Maud and they're both like independently owned by just regular people. It's not a big box store like Spotlight or anything like that and where I can I like to support local businesses so if you're looking for supplies in New Zealand those are two that I quite often buy from. Anyway this is the little accessory roll I haven't seen it in person and now that I'm holding it I'm thinking it might be a little bit too small but we'll see and then this is the little row counter so I'll take it out of here they have really beautiful packaging and I can see that it's uh, metal on the back so it's going to stick to the magnets on the makers board and then that's what it looks like so just a really clean design I really like that and yeah just sticks to the magnetic so I quite often have this next to me on the couch when I'm working on my sweater projects. My other patterns I tend to just keep on the, oh, in the project bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee because I'm worried it's gonna get cold. 
Okay, I had to go and get some scissors to get this out because it was really packed in there. But uh, this is what it looks like. It's just held together with some elastics and I think you can get different color elastics. I thought it may have come with them, but you probably have to buy those separately. Oh no, it says there's three. Oh yeah, there is. So it comes with three other little elastic bands if you want to change the color. And then this is what it looks like. I am a little bit worried it's gonna be a bit too small, uh, but we'll see. So this is how it unrolls. And then you can just take each of these individual sections off. It's really easy. They're just held on with a little snap. So you can take them on and off. I think they market it. So if you're traveling with your knitting and you just want to take a few of your notions, you can just take one little pouch and it's not magnetized for a closure. It's just, Kind of like an envelope. The paper is really weird because it does feel like paper but it also doesn't feel like it's just gonna break and you can put it in the washing machine <laughs> and wash it. So yeah there's four little segments and then it just rolls back up. So let's get out my knitting needles and see if they fit. <laughs> okay so the needles that I use are the Knit Pro Zing. I think in the States they might be sold under the Knitter's Pride brand but it's all the same. And about a year and a half ago, I bought a set of the interchangeable needles that came with some cords and everything you needed. And I think it's a really good beginner's set. So I'll leave it linked down below. I really love these needles. I don't have any complaints. And I have just a few of the double pointed needles. I have pretty much bought these just as I've needed them where it's come up in a pattern. But I do have my eye on some wooden needles. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm going to put the name on the screen but I do have my eye on a set of their short tips uh, that I might <laughs> ask uh, Mike for for Christmas. We always just get our own money and buy what we want and put it under the tree so the boys see us opening something. So I do have my eye on a set of short tip needles from uh, this brand and that might be what I'm gonna get for Christmas. I also really want to knit the pressed flower shawl and that would be the other thing. If I didn't get the needles, I would buy the yarn for that. Anyway, you'll see that over Christmas. Uh, but yeah, these are what I'm hoping will fit. And ooh, I don't know about the double pointed needles, but I think my regular interchangeable ones will definitely fit. And yeah, they fit with no problem. I believe they're 13 centimeters or something. I can't really show you it in there, but that fits just fine. So that's great. So let's try the double pointed needles. Okay, the double pointed needles fit too. They just have to sit sideways, so I don't know how many you could fit in there. And I have the 15 centimeter double pointed needles and that's the maximum that you better fit in there. So it looks like this is gonna do what I want uh, with the needles that I have at the moment, so that's good. So yeah, that was my little gift to myself today. Now I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna eat a little bit of chocolate and list the things on felt. And then that'll be the end of my fun crafting today. I have to do real life stuff, but I'll be back hopefully tomorrow and I'll show you some more of my progress on some of my projects. Okay, so it's a couple of weeks later. Things took a bit of a turn. So I'm gonna share where I'm at with some of my projects and give you a bit of an update. So I think I mentioned in my previous video that Tobias was sick and I'm pretty sure he had the flu and I'm pretty sure I caught the flu from him and I was incredibly unwell. It's probably the worst I have ever felt. I couldn't lie down uh, without coughing so I had to sleep upstairs on our chair and long story short I ended up getting pneumonia and I was able to stay at home. I didn't have to go into the hospital for uh, antibiotics through an IV. They just gave me really strong antibiotics at home. But uh, our whole school holidays, I pretty much spent in bed or on the couch. So the boys did not have a very exciting school break here in New Zealand. They're back at school now. I'm feeling a little bit better. I still can't take <coughs> a deep breath without coughing. And I haven't done a lot of knitting, but I really wanted to upload this vlog. So I'm going to share with you what I have been doing. And yeah, but yeah, I'll warn you that it's not a lot. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, uh, let's start with my socks, which I am using the Sock 
lady tutorial, crazy sock lady. Uh, so yeah, I haven't done a lot. I feel like it's really small. I think I cast on 54 or 56 stitches. And I don't know, maybe when they block out, <laughs> they'll fit. Uh, but I'm going to keep on going. So I'm almost up to the bit where you start doing the heel flap. I think I have about another nine rows to go. So there's my sock progress. Uh, then I will talk about this, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned. This is the Sunday Sweater uh, by Petite Knit Mohair Edition, but I am not doing it <laughs> with just mohair. I'm also using some fingering weight uh, merino. So I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I don't know why I think I can experiment already. I've knitted one sweater and I feel like I could just do whatever and it'll turn out. Uh, so this may or may not turn out. I do have it on some other needles here, so I'll talk about those in a minute. And then also, why I wasn't feeling well, I did make some new stitch markers. I made some new little ghosts. I think it's going to be too hard to see, so I'll insert a photo. Uh, but I added some color to them, and I really love them. So they are available on my felt store, and I have been using them on quite a bit of my own knitting. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to have to cut out so many coughs from this uh, video. But I've just started on the neck ribbing. I need to do eight centimeters. So I think I'm on about four or five centimeters uh, now. So that's how far along I got on that. And then my novice cardigan, again by Petite Knit. I have made a bit of progress on this. While I was sick, I didn't really knit at all. Um, oh, and I'm in the middle of a row, but I have one of my little ghosties on here as well. Uh, I'll see if I can put this over my head and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. But it is a cardigan, so obviously it's not going to be joined in the round. But uh, you can kind of see this is what I've done so far. So I think I have uh, another round of increases pretty soon. And then I will separate for the sleeves. <laughs> so that's how that looks. So I'm going to put my cardigan back on. Uh, so yeah, I am really enjoying knitting up the novice cardigan. I'm liking working with the mohair. Uh, it is quite hard at night to see the different stitches. So I've kind of been switching over to my uh, Sunday sweater. I hope, it, I hope that's the right name for it. Uh, but I am really enjoying this. And the other thing that I've been doing is I've been trying out some new needles. So in the beginning of this vlog, I talked about how I wanted to try this brand of short tips and we went to my niece's birthday before I got sick <laughs> and we had to drive uh, past Greytown where Miss Maud has their store so I just went in on a whim I took uh, some of our Christmas cash because we have uh, sinking funds and I kind of said if they have it in store I will buy them and put them away for Christmas so I did buy a set of the short tips and then when I felt so sick, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try out my new needles because that will make me feel good. <laughs> so I have been doing that. Um, yeah, I will talk more about these in my next vlog and my thoughts on them. But I have been using them on the neck ribbing for my Sunday sweater and I really like them. And I did also for a while switch over on this and I found it so much easier to knit with the mohair with the wooden needles because they're a bit grippier. So I think I am going to change back. Obviously it'd be easier if I wasn't using short tips. So uh, not this Christmas, but maybe next year I will invest in um, a set of the five inch uh, wooden needles because these are 3.5 inch. You mainly use these for doing sleeves and uh, necklines and things like that. So yeah, I will talk more about this set in my next vlog because before I bought them, <coughs> sorry, I did find it quite hard to find information about them. Even just the sizes that this set came with, I found quite hard um, to find that information. So I'll definitely talk about these. And yeah, I'm using my Christmas present early, but sometimes you gotta do something like that to make yourself feel a bit better. So yeah, that's where I'm up to on everything. I'm finding it quite hard to talk without coughing and I don't want 
the last bit of this vlog to just be me coughing. So I'm going to end this vlog here. It's a bit of a shorter one, but I'm sure in the, in the next few weeks I will feel better and I'll be able to show you some more progress. I uh, want to finish my dress that I started sewing because the weather is warming up here in New Zealand. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because um, it's very apparent that I can't stop coughing. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.